Nobody wins when the family feels. And the kids, please like tell them to stop recording. Real music, I don't condone, condone um, the killing or none of that type of stuff. The mother of a Jacksonville rapper who was killed in Tampa condemns the violence that led to her son's death. The community is mourning the death of Gerard Adams. The 19-year-old was shot and killed outside a Reigns football game in a targeted gang-related triple shooting last night. Big lock, big Drake on my lot, ay. Talking crazy, make a nigga run on loud, ay. Fool with me, man, don't get your ass clout, ay. Hey, bitch, we can't get couch, he'll be home for the summer. Hey, bitch, we can't get couch, he'll be home for the summer. I'm free looking out, that cellar, bro, ain't did shit. Tell him free looking out, that cellar, bro, ain't did shit. He's up to life in prison, but today, a 20-year-old Jacksonville man, Robert Howard received a much shorter sentence for a deadly shooting four years ago following a Reigns High School football game. At the time of the crime, Howard was 16. I didn't tell the police what happened, but then they, they talked to other people about it. I didn't get to speak my piece in court. That's the part that hurt me. He like, wait, I'm a celebrity in prison. I was a celebrity in prison. Like, niggas, cap, but that little cap, but that's cap, but cap, real nigga, but cap coming home. I ain't never seen a nigga damn my life, you feel me? But I'm like, Jack, everybody talking about, okay, shorty got your turn. Shorty got your turn. Fulio got your turn. They got your name alive, you feel me? So I'm like, hell yeah. Be the turn. For sure. Yeah, yeah. So, like, bro, on no jumper, bro, you said you was, you be talking to young and ace on the phone. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, bro. What y'all be talking man, about, bro? It's been 38 days since the Jacksonville, Florida rapper Julio Fulio had lost his life at the Holiday Inn while celebrating his birthday weekend. Now, within the last 24 hours, we released a video of three of the five people arrested for his demise. I'll leave the link in the bio if you guys want to check it out if you didn't do so already. Now, in that video, I made a quote that JSO believes two brothers who wasn't arrested at the time of those three being arrested was the mastermind, the quote unquote leaders of this hit. I mean, Tampa from Jacksonville is a three hour drive. They wanted Julio Fulio. Now, since we put out that video about 14 hours ago from making this video, it seems one of the brothers was apprehended the following morning. Now, there's some important facts that was brought to my attention as well, fam, that I need to bring it to you guys' attention. But I want to say this out the gate. Julio Fulio is a rapper who would diss almost 20 to 50 people at one time in one song. As we always mention, it only take one person to want to get get back. Now, it seems these two Murphy relatives is blood relatives to a guy named Spaz. A young man we are later discuss in the video a young man who lost his life as a teenager a young man who had his gravesite peed on a young man who was mentioned in many diss songs by the one and only julio fulio so without wasting too much time on this intro remember family i don't give you no way i just give you the story so with that being said make sure you like comment and subscribe we're gonna jump right to it within the last 24 hours the rapper julio fulio mom had went to the local news to express her thoughts on the video that was released to the public of how her son julio fulio aka charles jones had lost his life and also her thoughts on the three people arrested and his antics in the rap game or none of that type of stuff it's so it's ridiculous i never condoned it never condoned real music i don't condone, condone um the killing or none of that type of stuff the mother of a Jacksonville rapper who was killed in Tampa condemns the violence that led to her son's death. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. The artist, whose real name is Charles Jones, was gunned down in June outside a hotel across from the USF campus. This evening, arrests have been made. We are also seeing dramatic new video of what happened that night. News Channel 8's Georgia MacArthur joins us now live from the Tampa Police Department with the very latest. Georgia. Keith and Jen, Charles Jones' mother drove here today from Jacksonville with a plea to end the violence surrounding her son's death. She told me watching the video was hard, but Tampa police say the video proves the suspects drove here to Tampa with murder on their minds. 
I'm very relieved. Fans knew him as Julio Fulio, but to his mother, Sandricas Mays, he was simply her son, Charles Jones. On June 23rd, police believe Jones was trying to get a room at the Holiday Inn Hotel after he was kicked out of an Airbnb while celebrating his 26th birthday. Dramatic video captures the moment Jones was ambushed inside his car by three suspects. As you all can see, it did look like a movie. It was planned out, um, and I'm just happy that I finally get a little relief that these um, guys have been caught. Today, Tampa police announced the arrest of three suspects connected with Jones' murder. They believe they are members of rival Jacksonville gangs that came together to plan and carry out the murder in Tampa. Tampa is not where you want to come to settle a dispute. As for Jones' mother, she has a message, too. My son has been rapping since eight years old. Um, Charles had more, have more music than drill music. Charles has different type of music, but the fans, that's what they glorify. That's what they like. That's what they make go viral. But May says she never glorified the violence. Please don't say that it comes from home because it doesn't come from home um, at all. I'm a nurse. I have helped many people in my city with careers. Um, Charles' sister got her master's in education. Police have, police have issued warrants and are currently searching for two other men, 30-year-old Rashad Murphy and 27-year-old Davion Murphy, who they say are responsible for shooting Jones. Both men are considered armed and dangerous. Now at the release of that news clip, as mentioned, two more people was wanted, both relatives, Rashad Murphy and Davion Murphy. But here's the thing, since that news clip within the last 12 hours, Rayshad Murphy has been arrested. But also, what's coming to light is Rayshad and Davion is also relatives to a guy named Adams, aka Spaz, who was just 19 years old when he lost his life at a local football high school game. It happened in 2018. May he rest in peace and love condolences to his family. The community is mourning the death of Gerard Adams. The 19-year-old was shot and killed outside a Reigns football game in a targeted gang-related triple shooting last night. This was the scene yesterday. You can see students were left in tears. Two people were rushed to the hospital. Now we're still waiting for details regarding the suspects. JSO says Adams died at the scene. Now Action News Jacks broke the news of the shooting last night. Now the Duval County School District says they'll have extra security at Reigns and Lee next week. Meantime, grief counselors will be at both schools. Also, we're told Superintendent Dr. Diana Green will speak Monday about school safety and security at sporting events. Now we have Team coverage tonight. Action News Jack's Ryan Nelson is live at JSO. Ryan, you were at a vigil for the victim, and it was very emotional. Ben, friends and family are trying to understand how an evening under the Friday night lights could take a tragic turn. Tonight, they're asking you to help police bring those responsible to justice. He was my baby. That's my baby. With candles, flowers, balloons, and hugs, a community shows their support for a grieving family. I didn't want him to go to this game. 19 year old Gerard Adams was shot and killed outside of the Reigns High School field house Friday night. Today, his family and friends came out to honor his memory with a candlelight vigil. When your parents tell you no, it's no. Now, it was said to be around 4,000 people at the game. Spaz was the alleged target of the shoot. Now a team that go by the name of Robert Howard, AKA Kenny K, was later arrested for Spaz's demise. He was charged with M1, but he was later released after five years. His charges was reduced. No one had testified in court. Sentenced to manslaughter and aggravated battery in Adam's death. He was originally charged with second degree and first degree murder, but it was reduced after eyewitnesses recanted their statements. The state attorney's office says roughly 200 people were in the area of the shooting, but no one would come forward. They won't go to the police and tell the police what happened, but then they, they talk to other people about it. I didn't get to speak my piece in court. That's the part that hurted me. 
Like, I really want to speak my piece. I want him to hear out my my mouth, let him know what he took from me. According to Howard's original arrest report, the incident was gang-related, and he was listed as a gang member. Over the years, Murphy says people posted these videos, damaging her son's grave. She's also heard her son's death mocked by rappers and music videos. They refer to him as Spaz. Spaz face hot. If you did have the opportunity to speak during court, what would you say to him? He took something from me that was so precious and I don't get to see I didn't get to see him have children when he was still in school despite the outcome Murphy is working to erase the crime scene from her memory but here's where it get iffy and why people saying this could possibly be a back door for Spaz allegedly now Kenny K came home and recently did an interview not too long ago on a respected We Are Florida podcast and mentioned how Julio Fulio and K Short 8 made his time in jail go smooth by mentioning him in they raps and also coming home and speaking to Young and Ace and getting advice on being a rapper. So like, bro, I know when you was up the road, bro, a lot of people was like, bro, Jacksonville is different as fuck than the rest of yeah. Florida, bro. We don't, we don't, you know what I'm saying? We getting money. Like, yeah. I ain't saying y'all ain't getting money out there, but like, yeah. the, like, yeah. Niggas getting money, you're going to get your ass smoked by some money. Yeah. More than just, you know what I'm saying, beefing, 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 you know? Yeah. I ain't know how, I ain't know how turnt Jacksonville was so I really got to prison. For sure. Like, when I got to prison, and niggas from Miami, and Ocala, and Daytona, and Panama, and Gainesville, Tallahassee, Orlando, they like, boy, that's Kenny Cal, boy, but you're a real nigga. Like, I'm like, damn, but we some shit. Like, niggas looking at me like, boy, I'm a celebrity in prison. I was a celebrity in prison, like, Niggas cap, but that's a cap, but that's cap, but cap, real nigga, but cap coming home. I ain't never seen nigga damn my life. You feel me? But I'm like Jack, but everybody talking about, okay, shorty got your turn. Shorty got your turn. Fulio got your turn. They got your name alive. You feel me? So I'm like, hell yeah. Be the turn. For sure. Yeah, yeah. So, like, bro, on no jumper, bro, you said you was, you be talking to Young and Ace on the phone. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, bro. What like y'all be talking about, bro? Politicking. You feel me? Bro, bro, I said, bro, got a great mind. You feel me? Like, like trying to bring that shit together or? Yeah, most likely, yeah. Like certain shit, certain conversations, certain topics, you feel me? Like, like I said, bro got a great mind, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, he didn't give me advice on music and shit. Cause like I said, bro, like I want I be lying and I say bro wasn't no no authentic nigga, but bro, bro bro real nigga. So real nigga like real recognize real. So I apologize like other niggas I don't want to can dare get a conversation out of me, but bro, I can rock with bro. Me and bro can politics. Like he one of them niggas from over there. I can talk to, you feel me? Cause he ain't, he ain't no dummy, he got something to think with. Now I hope that wasn't too much, fam. I wanted to make it as brief as possible, but as mentioned, this is an update. And we're gathering this information. And once doing my homework and confirming it, it was a must I bring it to you guys' attention. This was a man who lost his life over five years ago, but his alleged family got get back. Revenge don't have a date on it. Fam, let me know how you guys feel about this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And today, I'll catch you guys on the next one.